Friends, Brian here for Yes You Can Play Guitar, and I, as you guys know, I've been a guitar teacher for decades, and I want to talk today about technique, speed, and what we all do wrong when we're beginners. So I just want to give you guys some pointers. Like, what the hell is this? I got this weird thing on my guitar. This, this crazy YouTube thing, man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I always harp on technique, okay? Technique, technique, technique. It's a big reason why a lot of people fail on the guitar. Because technique is the ability to train your fingers so you can play whatever you want to play. When you start out, you're not trained. A lot of people don't know what to do. They just kind of buy a guitar and pick it up a couple times and go, wow, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm, never, I'm not meant to be good, so I'm going to quit. Or technique is very, very important. So I'm going to talk about a few things that we tend to do wrong as beginners but you know when you see an amazing guitar player and they've got that technique and they're whipping around the guitar and you're like oh man oh man why can't i do that let's talk a little bit about it okay technique is very important when someone comes in for a lesson first thing i say is like i watch them play i see i want to see where their technique is they don't have technique it's like okay we gotta get some technique we gotta train our hand-eye coordination we gotta train our fingers to do these fine motions we gotta train our nervous system all this fun stuff okay so i'm gonna take a generic exercise also people say do you practice your exercises with distortion or clean some people do one or the other i do both but i tend to alternate one day i might go clean the next day i might use some distortion so what we're going to do is we're going to take the ninth fret on the g string I am in the ninth position, okay? That means anything on the 10th fret belongs to my middle finger, anything on the 11th belongs to my third, and anything on the 12th belongs to my pinky, okay? So, when I'm picking, this is what it sounds like. I'm using strict alternate picking. Now, for a beginner, this is what a beginner would do. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk about it, okay? Uh, first thing, when you see someone who has really good technique, we know how to just play with as little effort as possible. When you're a beginner and your fingers aren't trained, it ain't gonna matter none, okay? So what a lot of beginners will do when they do something like that, They're gonna lift their fingers off. So when I talk to, when I teach like teenage boys, they'll come in for lessons and I'm like, they'll do that when I show them some basic exercises and I'm like, hey, do you like doing more work than you have to? You know, when you clean your room at home, do you go to your parents and say, hey, I'm in a cleaning mood. I'm gonna clean your room too. No, but when you do that and your fingers aren't trained, you're gonna be doing more work than you have to by lifting your fingers off, doing this kind of thing. Okay. The next thing a lot of beginners will do is they don't use proper position playing, okay? So they might, instead of playing the 10th fret with their middle, they might use their third or their pinky because they, they don't know what to do, right? It's, so I'm a big believer in what's called proper position playing. And also, when people lift their fingers off, I like to use something called prior notes. I keep my fingers down until I'm ready to move to the next position or the next string. Another thing that a lot of beginners do wrong is their thumb. They do a lot of weird things. They might do this, they might do that. I keep my thumb in line with my middle finger when I'm playing, okay? Yes, when I'm strumming, my thumb might come up a bit. I might do a few things if I'm muting the low strings, yes. But when I'm starting out, I keep my hands straight. I don't do anything weird. I don't have any weird bends on my wrist. Well, what beginners do is they tend to overcompensate. They like, ah! They're trying to push their finger right through the fretboard, right? And they're doing weird things. They put their elbow out. I call that the arm wrestling technique. Going, I'm like, are you going up to an arm wrestling table? What the hell are you doing there? We squeeze too hard. <laughs> when I get people doing exercises, especially you got to do it to a sequence where you're starting slow and bringing it up slowly with speed. So a metronome. Some people like to use guitar profiles. Exercise on that with a speed trainer, a sequencer of some sort slowly start slow and get it down and then the next thing i often tell people is alternate picking okay 
it's not normal for people when they're starting out. People tend to just start doing downs. So what I do with a lot of people when we're doing an exercise, I get them to say it out loud, down, up, down, up. Because then if you mess it up, if you're saying an up when you're going with a down, you're more likely to catch yourself. A lot of people don't like doing that because they think it's goofy. But when I get them doing it, they clean that up really quick. Relax your hand. You don't need to push your fingers right through the guitar neck. This will come with time. You know, as you do your exercises and get more trained, you will know just how much to just push just to get the note to sound and sound nicely. Yeah. With this kind of thing, generic exercise, you got three exercises right there. Ascending. Okay, see how, notice how I keep my hands straight? I'm not doing this, I'm not doing anything. And then you can do variation two, which is just doing it backwards. Descending. You're gonna notice on the guitar, your pinky is the hardest finger to train. So when you're going descending, you're gonna do this. Your fingers, it's almost like they're flying away. I'm gonna quote the song. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Okay, it's gonna feel like your fingers are taking off. They're going to Mars or something. Relax your hand, work at it. And with time, you'll be able to keep them as close as possible. Another little great exercise you can make a new exercise with is you're gonna pick down, up, down, up. You're gonna pick down with your pinky, and then lift your pinky off just a little bit and go up. Down, up. Relax your fingers, relax your pinky, but learn to control it. It's gonna be really weird at first, but you will get it. You can beat those little suckers into submission. So again, what I like to try and do with people is get them into a training routine where they're doing exercises every day, especially with a time reference. We work it up to speed, but it's nice and clean because it's to a time reference, right? And then you have a third variation where you combine the first one and the second one. Again, go really slow. Alternate picking. Again, it's weird when you're not used to it. Often, it's one of the things I, I get people to do. I'm like, man, make sure you're alternate picking. Down, up, down, up, down. Think of it like you're sprinting. If you go outside and you're having a running race with someone, would you just hop on one leg three or four times in a row and then, no. We've got three exercises. Ascending. Descending. Ascending and descending, combining the two. That is something to watch out for when you're a beginner. Okay, it takes time, it doesn't matter. I don't care what people say, you don't pick up a guitar and just play like Jimi Hendrix, Eddie Van Halen, Engve Momstein, your first time. It takes time. Those are some exercises, but more so than just giving you guys exercises, I wanna say those are a lot of things that people do wrong. So quick review. Lifting your fingers when you don't need to, creating a lot more work. Just keep your fingers down when you do those exercises. Ascending, first finger down, keep it down. Second finger, once you play it, keep it down. Okay, and, ace, and when you descend, Lift off just, just as much as you have to. It's gonna be really weird at first. But you do this every day for a few weeks, your fingers are gonna start coming around. And then if you want a third exercise, you can combine them. But I would leave that until you're really comfortable with the first two. So what I like to do with people, get them onto an exercise routine every day. So when I teach students, and the students that get onto that, and they do it right, and they do what I show them, their playing really starts to take off because their technique's coming up. The people that choose not to, you know, they have to deal with not improving as much as they'd like from year to year. I just started a guitar Patreon community. So I have another really wacky exercise to help with all this that a teacher that taught me years ago, one of the most brilliant minds, he had a PhD. He taught me this really weird exercise. I'm gonna post that as an extra to my guitar Patreon community. Thanks again, guys. Keep the comment suggestions coming. Thank you for those that joined my Patreon communities. I really appreciate the support. Practice hard, practice smart, no excuses. 
We'll see you soon. Yeah.